Good evening, everybody. Uh, bring this regular meeting to council to order for September the 21st, 2021. Move, or sorry, resolved that the agenda for the September 2nd, 2021 regular, sorry, September the 21st, 2021 regular meeting of council be adopted. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor and Tony. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Resolved that the minutes of the September 14th, 2021 regular council meeting be approved. Moved by Councilor Friesen, seconded by Councilor Bobbick. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Just to begin with, uh, a couple weeks ago, we received the news of the loss of uh, CAO Patty Simpson from Minnetona's Bozeman. She was a great person, as we all remember her, and uh, a delight to speak with. Um, I think it'd be appropriate for us to um, have a moment of remembrance for Ms. Simpson. Thank you. Our condolences to her family and her friends. Going on to six, 6.1. Result of the permits, building permits 5321 through 5821 with a total estimated value of $1,592,000 be received. Moved by Diplomat and Tony, seconded by Councilor Friesen, discussion. Councilor Delorier. Just a question on uh, 5521. Uh, I know it's up for discussion later on tonight, the development agreement. Do we issue the permit before they have a development agreement in place? <laughs> well, that's, I guess it's recommended, yes. It's but recommended to issue a, a building permit prior to a development agreement being no, it's recommended to have a development agreement first. But in this case, we've been, you know, we've, we've been in talks for 12 months over, over this. That's where our, where our processes really need to come into, into question on how we're going to move forward with whether development agreements become before land sale agreements. And in, in this case, they've provided their drawings and every, everything's fine. Like there's no issue. But uh, as long as we understand moving forward that they're starting and we're still <coughs> in the development agreement discussion, so no, it's recommended that we have a development agreement before construction, but that is completely on us. <clears throat> Further discussion? Nothing, Councilor Gloria? No. Anybody else? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. <clears throat> 6.2. Result of the letter from the Association for Community Living dated September the 17th, 2021 be received. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Deprimate, sorry, Councillor Morial. Uh, this is a letter they actually had their AGM today. Um, we, if we have a check ready for them, we can call them and, and maybe we can do a <coughs> presentation here at the office uh, for that. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to attend that. <clears throat> All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 7, 7.1. 
Resolve, uh, resolve the Director of Public Works report be received. Moved by Councillor White. No, Councillor Bobbick. Seconded by. There's no report there. No report to receive. Discussion? Who is oh. the report? No. Uh, I can't oh. move it, I can't find it. Okay. <laughs> is, is There's not one there? No, I. Darren did not submit a report. Okay, so let's. Uh, <laughs> Let's move on. Thank you, Councillor White. Uh, Result that the August 2021 Swan River Handy Transit Van report be received. Moved by Councillor Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councillor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 7.3. Uh, council reports. Start with Deputy Mayor Wintoni. I have nothing to report today. Okay. Thank you. Councillor Friesen. Uh, I was only at a Communities of Care meeting <coughs> and um, October 16th, instead of having a Spooktoberfest as they usually have, we can't have contact inside and decorate and all that. So they're planning an outdoor four to nine outside at the museum. And we're just looking for groups right now that will take a building and call it their own and decorate it and be there and show the kids some Halloween treats. And and so that's where we are. Can you repeat that again? You, they're looking for people to what? What did you hear? The part where the, you're looking for Groups that groups. would like to contribute their time and effort to decorate buildings, decorate themselves, and be there on that particular evening. And if <coughs> there's anybody that would like to do that, please contact me and I will forward it on to uh, Donna Jean Slack. Okay. Or Bev Poland, who has stepped up to help organize this event for the kids instead of the school program. Okay. <coughs> I also had a busy day yesterday. I got to work the federal election out at Big Woody. It was quite a day. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Exciting times. Uh, Council Morial. Um, just two meetings last week's Committee of the Whole meeting, which we all attended. And the negotiation committee uh, regarding our collective agreement with our staff. Uh, we had an in house. Um, prep meeting for um, upcoming negotiations next month. So that will continue. We'll report on that once we get there. Okay, thank you. Is that everything? Councillor Bobbitt. Yes, I uh, got the committee meeting last week. Uh, also, to let you know that we'll be attending a GROW meeting at the Swan Lake Watershed tomorrow night. GROW is a program that's been put out by the provincial government that is. Uh, for landowners to try to save wetlands, there's a certain price per acre that they will pay uh, if they qualify and stuff like that. Things that stuff will be promoted <coughs> right now. Um, I'll probably put a flyer up here in the office. Whether it pertains to Swan River residents, that would be a question to answer, but there's lots going on. So, uh, and also Thursday we have a meet our normal watershed meeting. So. Okay. Uh, Councillor White wants to ask you a question. Just a question relative to the GROW program for whoever. Did I understand that the, the government is prepared to pay people to preserve wetlands? Yes, wetlands, uh, some riparian areas like tree creeks and stuff like that. There will be a, uh, The provincial government has put a sum of money away a few years ago, which I'm not too certain about exactly what fund, but the interest herb off earned off this fund will be towards grow, pro, grow programs in the future. This right now, it is about a 10-year program. The landowners can, uh, if they meet the criteria, get on board, they will be, it's nothing attached to the title. It's a program that whereas if they seem fit to get out of the program in the future, they can by just notifying you of a one-year ongoing contract. Watershed will monitor these things for these areas, um, yeah, it's a more or less. The landowner will also be able on dry years, I'll, I'll use a pothole for instance, 
if that pothole is there on a yard, a dry year, he could, the landlord could use it or utilize it, farm through it, grow hay, would do what he want. He would still get paid for it. It's more or less the efforts being made to save those potholes for wet years so it retains water and filtration systems instead of filling it in and a faster runoff, picking up nutrients, adding to the streams. That sounds fantastic. I'd love if you could get a copy of that book sometime. Yes. It's far beyond the, the, the wetland is holding water is all the myriad of different life forms that live in those wetlands, the ducks, the geese, who knows? I love it. Carry on, Councillor Bobbitt. And that's it. Okay. <clears throat> Councillor White. They're pretty busy. Uh, again, we all attended a trial meeting. Uh, I hope it help, helps all of Parkland, but I've been appointed to the uh, Human Resources Board of PMH, two of the main goals, medical professional recruitment, and my goals anyway, and bridging to have <coughs> LPNs converted into PNs right here in Swan River, so we're working on that, and that would be a goal with, with PMH. Uh, I'm sure we talked about it where uh, Sergeant Hansen was uh, chatting with me relative to the issues at the fairgrounds and some of the uh, things that happened down there and a local person that suggested cameras, that's something we can talk about. Uh, I've been in a lot of communication recently uh, with, with the support of our, our council and UCN, Red River Community College, Prairie Mountain Health and the Swan Valley School Division about bridging. So bridging our young LPNs could store could stay here and move on and become BNs, not having to move to Brandon or to Winnipeg, find lodging and spend money. And hypothetically, I think it's theoretically, that's a better word, they would stay here if they were trained here. And most of them are local. So that discussion is ongoing. And one of my goals is going to try and get all those entities together sooner than later. We'll sit down and say, hey, enough of the letters back and forth. Where are we going? This is what's happening. I want to compliment the council for the discussion we had recently relative to sending representatives from council to the PAW and or Dauphin to talk about economic development, uh, crime protection, crime control, doctor we couldn't pick a number. And I had the opportunity two to three days ago to meet with the deputy mayor in Dauphin and the protective service chair and they said they've been communicating with you, uh, your worship, and uh, they're excited about us coming down and uh, hopefully they reciprocate come up to see us. I can tell you that Piers Nipawa is building, the town of Nipawa is building a facility for housing nurses so nurses can be trained. Again, places for the trained space has been a big issue. ACC is off offering a rotating LPN program that will go to different communities. So the government has announced they want 400 new nurses in the next year or two, so they've got to get out into rural Manitoba and hopefully that will help us. Some other good, good news I can't share. Uh, I've been discussing with Larissa Kaminko. She is one of the PMH recruiting, the second and third command of the <coughs> Good news for Swan River, they're going to send from the University of Manitoba two groups of nurses, four at a time, for somewhere around uh, six to eight weeks to train right here in the Swan River Valley in our hospital. And uh, we were trying to find them accommodation, but since then the university has popped up and they found an Airbnb with those state. But I'm going to encourage uh, our council, my peers here, consider what can we do with these uh, young people when they're training. Uh, maybe the mayor, your worship, would take them golfing, I could take them fishing, Mr. Moore would take them flying. There's all sorts of things. So it's a great potential for us to recruit. So when we get these incentives all tied up nicely, and we can tell them that if you come back here, we might be able to give you an incentive. The incentive, hypothetically, if it's approved, I'm optimistic it will, would only go to someone who's training right here in the Swan River Valley, that they'll be trained, who has signed a contract right here in the Swan River Valley. So I encourage you guys to think of places we can take these uh, young nurses of the aid in the next year, and uh, we'll show them around. We'll take them to the co-op, and uh, the Deputy Mayor is always so positive and entertaining, you'll maybe get some, get some makeup. So uh, that's it for now, thank you. Okay, well, thank you, Council Light. Um, just on the protective services uh, part that you had mentioned with the City of Dauphin, and I have reached out to um, their, I believe it's their assistant, uh, CAO, um, and I'll wait for her return uh, email on, on the subject when we can have. What the discussion was, was to have a Zoom meeting or something initially set up, and we're hoping that we can actually pull in uh, the PAW in it too, and that was all again on our shared or common um, crime issues and, and how we uh, 
what we're doing about it and, and what we can do about it and maybe having the province involved and having some kind of a strategy set up so that when we go to the AMM, then we have something for the minister and a discussion that's, uh, uh, I guess, prepared and planned. Zoom meetings, your worship, are wonderful. I think they do this definitely work. But I suspect the Dauphin will have a, an office as big as this where we can, as long as they're six feet apart, we're socially distanced, we wear a mask going into. Getting to know the people personally at the table is, to me, much more efficient than Zoom. Understanding Zoom may have to be the meeting. Well, we'll see what our options are when we get. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor DeLaurier. Uh, the only thing I had and then in our committee meeting on Tuesday, I had a planning district meeting on Monday. Uh, nothing eventful, just oversight. So, other than that. Okay. Uh, for me, other than just overlapping what else has been said, I had the opportunity to uh, drop the puck at the Stampeders uh, opening game, season opener, on Friday, uh, which was good. I uh, got to share that uh, opportunity with. Uh, Mr. Fleming from the Albert, uh, uh, Albert Chartrand Friendship Center, uh, who he was representing also the MMF. Uh, so we had some good discussion there and, and watched the game. And um, unfortunately, the Stampeders uh, weren't successful, but uh, it's early in the season. I'm sure that they'll get the, everything all worked out. But uh, good crowds there too. So uh, uh, definitely a good start to uh, their season. Hopefully it gets even better. So. That's it for me. Uh, Mr. Poole, do you have anything to add? No written report, but uh, just for council to know, I attended an airport inspection, the field inspection at the airport today. Uh, it will be discussed at tomorrow's airport meeting with, along with uh, some capital plans from the commission. <clears throat> uh, just working on the public strat plan document for the 28th committee, the whole meeting council to uh, review uh, union negotiation information and prep for negotiations next month I had a meeting with the RCMP staff sergeant so he'll be working on council's request to, to have more of a their invoice breakdown be more in layman's terms so he will be presenting some results on, on that and also invited him to uh, uh, the first October meeting so hopefully he can attend. Uh, and completed the draft development agreement for, for a large development in town, which we'll be discussing in camera tonight. And just working on purchase services, the administration is preparing for all that comes with what will happen on that front. Okay. And I guess one thing I do need from council, or, or I guess an update is uh, the AMM. They will be contacting us on how the conference is going to work. There, there's some possible changes to who can attend, but uh, according to the minister's meetings, they're hoping that they're going to move forward. And what I have right now is is our first priorities with a, a meeting with the minister of health for CT scanner, doctor recruitment retention, minister of justice for uh, the cost of the RCMP and crime in general, and with the minister of infrastructure for I'm guessing the, or the uh, intersection of 1083, but that's what I have from Council so far. Councillor White. Uh, the, just a subtle change. I would rather than say doctor recruiting, I would say medical professional recruiting, because okay. we certainly need all of the above. Councillor Bobbitt. Um, CAO, Mr. Poole. Um, there's been a letter sent on shared services to the Swan Valley West, I'm under the impression, on whether they, we could go into mediation. Uh, yes. Has there been any answers on that? We have not received the response yet. Uh, at the same time, we purchased a new grader. Uh, I, I, the resolution has been passed, but I guess I, I don't know if, if we've signed on the dotted line. Uh, just with that, if I could get you, could you somehow find the price of the 140 at the time of uh, purchase? Yes. And I'd, like to, I'd like to compare the agency cost per month. 
Anything further, Councilor Bobbin? I uh, just didn't, uh, when you get spare time, I would like to know what the town of Swan River actually puts into the bed for the cost per year. Yeah. Whatever you get Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I probably can help you with that too. Yes, okay. Uh, Councilor White. Uh, relative to your question, Councilor Bobbin, uh, we sent a letter, or had delivered a letter to the uh, R in the Swan Valley West relative to negotiations. Uh, at that meeting before, I thought, maybe it's happened, that because of some of the concerns that some of us have, that that letter should be sent to all of the members of council for the Swan Valley West. And as a consequence of that, uh, there'd be no misrepresentation because of not understanding something and all of the councillors would be on the same page. I'm not sure that happened or didn't happen, maybe it couldn't have happened, but boy, I, I really believe that we've got to do that. That did not happen. Uh, we did send it to the CAO and the Reeve, but uh, yeah, that did not go to every councillor's in the office. Is there anything to, is it inappropriate or illegal for us to send that follow up with a letter, that copy of that letter for their information? Because I'm, you know, I'd like them to be all on the same page. I'm not sure why we can't. Do that. <coughs> no, I, there's no reason why that can't happen. Would, would you do that? Then? Yes, yeah. Okay, thank you. Anything further? Uh, no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> eight, eight point one. Resolve the town accept the offer from Brent and Neil Scales to purchase lot eight, or sorry, lot six to eight and lots eleven to sixteen, plan twenty three eighty, as a, as attached in Schedule A. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by. Councilor Delorier, discussion. Councilor Delorier, do you do you have any background on it? Is is this part of the land that we always owned, or is this part of the land that was donated to, when the wellness center was built? This is the donated land. Is it? Yeah. The whole thing is Burlington Avenue. Can you show us where that land is? It's on your map. It, uh, open up your document there. You'll see it. The last the page. Right here. Okay, where are these two lots? Well, no, it's a bunch of lots. What's the number of there? I guess. I don't. I, 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 guess I don't. I don't have the actual. Uh, I don't have the paperwork for that. So I. I guess I can't say with complete confidence that uh, that we didn't run this for. I have to double check that. I, I think I think the lot for the wellness center was the the, the immediate lots on the east towards the highway, not including this area here at all. That's my understanding. Councilor Morio and then Councilor Delorier. Um, looking at the map here, um, I'm assuming this is where the new, or a good chunk of that is the new rugby field that the high school constructed there. Um, is this <coughs> is this part of the whole UCN discussion? Yeah, you know what? Maybe we should just shift this into mm -hmm. camera, and then we can bring it out of camera and, and vote on it at that time. That'd be perfect. Okay, is the mover and seconder okay with that? Uh, actually, I'd like to table it to a future meeting altogether. We can talk about it in camera, but I'd like the resolution to be tabled to a future meeting altogether, because yeah, this this blind plays a role in a few different discussions we're having. So okay. I'd like more time to think about this. So uh, you're moving to table? Is that you have a, a mover? Sorry, seconder, Councillor Baldick. Okay, all in favor? Okay, so it's tabled, but we will still discuss it in in, uh, in uh, camera. <clears throat> okay, 10.1. Resolve that the accounts as follows be hereby approved for payment 
General Counts Checks Number 280029 to Number 28100, totaling $178,091.91 as listed on Schedule A. Payroll Counts Checks Number 4944 to Number 4951, totaling $113,886.39 as listed on Schedule B. Direct deposits totaling $20,391.62 as listed on Schedule C. Direct deposits in the amount of $76,648.15 as per Schedule D. Moved by Councillor Morio, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 10.2. Result of the financial statements for the eight months ending August 31st, 2021 be adopted as received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed, it's carried. 10.3, whereas sections 326 of the Municipal Act provides that a municipality may impose supplementary taxes upon receipt of assessment alterations from the Manitoba Assessment Services. Therefore, be it resolved that the assessment alterations done by Manitoba Assessment Services on September the 7th <coughs> and 10th, 2021 be made to the 2021 property and business tax rolls with the resulting increases totaling $27,205.57. Moved by Councillor Bobbick, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? You have the information there. All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 10.4, resolved that the council authorize payment of the annual grant of $8,000 to the Swan Valley Chamber of Commerce, as was included in the 2021 financial plan to be used towards the chamber projects and operations. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. We can do that as well and do a presentation of some kind with the uh, with the <coughs> <person. clears throat> Result the pursuance of sections one fifty two three of the municipal act council go into committee and close the meeting to the public. We have legal development agreements to discuss. Uh, we also have legal land uh, legal also with land sales marketing agreement. <coughs> and purchase services. Resolutions moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. So, uh, we just come on camera and we do have an item for 15. Items arising out of camera. 15.1 is a resolution. Whereas the town of Swanner believes in collaborative partnerships with our neighboring municipalities regarding services that benefit all residents of this valley as a whole. And whereas the town of Swanner recognizes the benefit to all residents of the Swanner Valley that it is brought by being able to work together with our neighbors and also recognizes the severe impediment to future municipal partnerships that will be caused by failure to work collaboratively <coughs> with the municipalities of Swan Valley West. And whereas the town of Swan River is willing to reduce our total yearly ask by 8%, this will conclude that 2021 and 2022, the official request of Swan Valley West would be reduced from 417, 417,000 to 383,500. Therefore, be it resolved that the Town of Swan River submit a proposal to Swan Valley West to a two-year agreement formed with a reduction of 33500 for year 2021 and 22, totaling 383500 in 2021 and 383 
500 in 2022. Moved by oh, Deputy Mayor Lentoni, seconded by Councillor White. Discussion? No. <clears throat> All in favor? <clears throat> it's carried. Seven minutes to go. Result of the regular meeting of council now be adjourned at 10.23 p.m. Moved by Councilor Friesen, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion? No more. All in favor? 